Mary Lake is a jewel in the heart of the Highlands, beautifully looked after, and only recently came to the community's attention. And when people saw it, they thought, oh my goodness, this is an absolute treasure. All we're doing is what we have been doing for, for thousands of years, not any different. The land, the trees, the water, everything here is telling a story and we must leave it in that state. I've asked my two grandsons to bless these rocks. And once it's blessed, these rocks should be left there for all time. There's a saying in our community, when something has been blessed in a spiritual way, the spirit will protect it. So maybe, there's some people later on that will want to move this and, and I would say, God have mercy on him. Thank you very much for coming. I live in this community. When I heard about uh, the ceremony that was going to happen today, I just said to my mother, I said, we have to be there. You know, my grandparents were very private and personal people and a lot of people don't know this about them, but they love this land and they did not want this land to be developed at all. My grandfather took very, very um, big strides in keeping it just the way it is, just pristine, natural, just the way it is, and instilled in every single one of us to keep it just that way. And, and I'd like to see it stay that way for the rest of the for the future, for our children's children's children. The Brotherson family really uh, had protected this property. And in a sense, you feel that special essence. Um, you really do. And there are a lot of people in Bob McMinn's efforts to protect the property. He's sort of the father of the Highlands. And uh, he, at, at 80, 86, it's amazing what he's done. And I think bringing the whole community and the broader community together to all look at this property as something that we all should be part of protecting into the future. I think that that is part of the message that comes out about Mary Lake. It's become a special place for everyone and all over the world, the people who've responded. But we need a lot more people responding. We need to raise money to protect this special place into the future. This is such an important campaign and, and it's such a creative campaign. I, um, I used to live in the Highlands and I know the area that uh, we're talking about and it's so important to protect it. I remember when I was on uh, CRD Parks, when we renewed the, the Parks Plan, the kind of space that most Victorians said they wanted us to protect was lake areas. And this is uh, perhaps the very last lake that we can protect in our region. That's what this is all about. It's, it's can we mobilize the community to find a way to raise enough money to put this incredible jewel of piece of land into community's ownership so that it remains in the community ownership, as Bob McMinn said, until the next ice age comes. I'm certainly hoping that places like Mary Lake will uh, continue until it's another cathedral grove of old growth trees. Uh, I will only see it in my dreams, but I'm dreaming of it now. Well, if it's sold in the old-fashioned way of things, it would be divided up into 13 lots and there'll be 13 access roads, and there'll be 13 properties in the normal, old-fashioned kind of way. And so if this has become a garden of humanity and a garden of the soul of the Highlands, it needs to have a different kind of ownership and not private ownership. My grandparents have both passed away now, and we're trying to save the land from being subdivided and property being built on it. We don't want houses being built on it. We would really, really, really like to see the land just as it is now. If, if it could be made a park, it would just be the most wonderful thing ever to happen for us.
Mary Lake is a place that should be protected into the future and I think everyone should come together and it does mean coming together and putting in your pennies, your dollars, your tens, your hundreds to help protect this area. We do not have much time, it's urgent and it's a unique property here in the Highlands but it's here for everyone if we protect it now.